is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and this is my Breeders' Cup Saturday video for Saturday, November 4th, 2017. We're going to do the 10th race from Del Mar. It's the Grade 1 Breeders' Cup Juvenile for 2-year-olds, a mile and a 16th on the main track. We have a full field of 12 and number 11, Bolt de Oro, my number one derby contender since I started my 2018 Kentucky Derby list uh, after Del Mar. And speaking of Del Mar, he, he ran his first two races at Del Mar, won his debut there, and then second time out, the grade one Del Mar Futurity. He won that one nicely. He got a 132 final rating. Second time out, they stretched out, moved to Santa Anita for the grade one front runner. He ran away with that one. He got a 140 final rating for today's Racing Digest, a 141 CPR. A good jockey trainer team, Mick Ruiz, Corey Nakatani. Six times together, they teamed up with four wins and a third. And Corey Nakatani has been aboard for all three of both Oro's victories. He can beat you different ways. He can be up on the pace. He can come from off the pace. He's going to be tough to beat. Uh, that last race was visually impressive. And if he runs back to that front runner, they're not going to beat him. He's going to have to not run his best race in order to lose this race. And if he wins this one, he's going to be your two-year-old champion. Number five, um, Free Drop Billy is my second choice. And he's five to one morning line. Dale Romans, Robbie Alvarado. He looks solid as well. He improved his Today's Racing Digest final ratings in all four of his starts. He got a 140 final rating, stretching out in distance in the Grade 1 Breeders Futurity at Keeneland last time from an outer post stalking the pace. He should sit a good stalking trip from post 5, and if the favorite stubs his toe at all, look for Free Jot Billy uh, to, to come running. Now number 2, Salamini. My third choice is worth using here for trainer Bob Baffert, Flabby and Pratt. Uh, they, they're a decent jockey trainer team, and Fabian Pratt has ridden him both times, including in his Del Mar winning debut in a sprint race, getting a 132 final rating. He hoped Bolt de Oro last time. He ended up finishing a clear second. Not a bad effort, only his second lifetime start, first start around two turns. Now he's back at Del Mar for his second route race with a nice inner draw. Don't be surprised if he improves a lot. He's going to have to improve uh, more than seven lanes to beat Bolt Oro, but, but I expect him to continue to improve for Bob Baffert. A nice pedigree here, a uh, Curlin uh, Stormcat. Bred top and bottom to be a very good horse. Good magic for trainer Chad Brown. He's certainly one that you can use. He's still a maiden, but he's very talented. His career debut, he was the favorite. He finished a decent second, and then they stretched him out. Uh, uh, it was still around one turn, but it was a mile in the grade one champagne. And I thought he ran better than, than the winner even, Ferenc Fire. The pace was quick, he was tracking the pace, he had the lead, Ferenc Fire rallied from the back of the pack to catch him late, and that Ferenc Fire, who's number three in here, he was much more experienced than Good Magic. So Good Magic is certainly one that's improving. Uh, Curlin is a sire again, hard spun the damn sire. Nice pedigree, excellent connections, and he should continue to get better with age. Ferenc Fire can be used underneath, but um, Bahamian is an interesting maiden in here. 30 to one morning line. He really improved second time out at Del Mar in a, in a dirt sprint, getting a 126 final rating. Then they shipped him for the champagne, and in the champagne he, he had a, all, a horrible start, lost all chance, so now he's back in Southern California. Uh, this is obviously a very tough spot, but uh, Bahamian did show ability over the track. He's got a decent pedigree, good connections. I would expect uh, him to be a huge number, and maybe he could sneak into the trifecta or superfecta. Here's how we will play this one. We're going to play Exactus. We're going to use number 11, Bolt de Oro, on top of number 2, Salamini, number 5, uh, Free Drop Billy, and number 6, Good Magic. We'll reverse that Exacta and, and put those three on top of Bolt de Oro. And then a trifecta, number 11, Bolt de Oro, on top of five horses, on top of number 2, Salamini, number 3, Fire Inspire, number 5, Free Drop Billy, number 6, Good Magic, number 8, Bahamian. Three, three superfectas in here. Bolt de Oro on top. Uh, we're going to use uh, number two, Salamini, number five, Free Drop Billy, number six, Good Magic, in second and third. We'll put all in fourth in our second superfecta. That, that first one is 11 with 256 with 256 with all. Our second one, 11 with 256 with all with 256. Our third superfecta, 11 with all with 256 with 256. So if it comes in 11, 256 in any of that, that order with the 11 winning, we hit the superfecta all three times on each of those three tickets. If you're interested in my full card analysis for Dalmar and for Breeders' Cup, for both Breeders' Cup days, you can find that at todaysracingdigest.com. And if you're interested in this complete digest for Breeders' Cup Day 2, Breeders' Cup Saturday, outstanding product at todaysracingdigest.com, you can't go without it. So much information that you're going to need on a big day like the Breeders' Cup. And you can find that in the product section at todaysracingdigest.com. 
That will wrap up this week's video. We'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the country.